Welcome to States and Kingdoms, Beatles Influence video. Today we're talking about Jackie DeShannon and her song, When You Walk in the Room. This was released November 23rd, 1963, which is not a great day. A somber day. To release a single. And uh, we were talking before about, you know, how we thought maybe they would, they would have stopped it. I have no idea why yeah. that didn't happen. Very interesting. You would think, looking or, back, that they would have postponed it a little bit. Or if it affected it and its sales at all, which it very easily could have. It's possible. This was her second single in 1963, the first being Needles and Pins, written by Sonny Bono and Jack Nietzsche in April of 1963. A very important song, covered by many people, including, of course, The Searchers, who had a big hit with it and, in 64. Right, and Del Shannon. Del Shannon, and Her of brother. course... Just kidding. And, of course, The Ramones, which is my second favorite version of this. Right. Because he um, is, like, like, I mean... Yeah. Perfect early he gets, 60s he gets rock gets and the, roll voice. He gets the tone 100% right. Well, Jackie Shannon wrote this song. Yes. Did we not say that? No. Okay. Yes, she wrote this song. She was a phenomenal singer, a great songwriter. She's, She's cute, cute too. too. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Um, so she had a great, great style, great vocal style. Yeah. She was, she was, she was very pretty. Mm -hmm. um, total package, really. Our contention here is that this song influenced the Beatles. Right. So, Jackie DeShannon wrote this song. Yes, we established that. She wrote the guitar part of this song. So she says. The guitar was played by Glenn Campbell. It is a rumor. Glenn Campbell is a rhinestone cowboy. Right. Glenn Campbell's playing the guitar on this song. Now, we're not playing the song for you. Wish we and could. And um, the way things go on YouTube, that makes things a little bit difficult. But if you listen to this song, bearing in mind that it came out in November of 63, and listen to this 12-string electric I was guitar say, sound. It is also a 12-string guitar. That's important to note. Listen to the opening bass and drum part, and how the guitar then kicks in, and then how the extra percussion kicks in and and stays kicked in throughout the whole song yes the whole rhythm of it i think i think it would be fairly easy to suggest that this song had quite the impact on or influence uh of um for with therefore maybe hence ticket to ride yes you know this song also had a massive impact just by through the searches, the Beatles, the Birds, yeah, all the way down to like Tom Petty and uh, and Peter Buck and REM and others, just because of that guitar sound, if nothing else. Right. This is the first time you hear that twelve string, twangy yeah. style. Yeah. You... So yeah, any any band, uh, or you know, guitarist that went on to play a twelve string guitar, I think owes a debt of gratitude to this song. Yeah, and um, apart from that. It's just a flat-out great song mm -hmm. with an incredible vocal performance yes. on it. Um, now, some people might suggest, you know, well, that's that's all very well and good, but, you know, are you sure the Beatles heard this song? Yeah. Well, Jackie DeShannon opened for them on their first U.S. tour, so, yes, they did. And they certainly heard the Searchers version of it, if nothing else, since the Searchers were fellow Liverpudlians right. that they knew and had known for some time. May I remind everyone that this came out in 1963. Yep. Yeah. I, I, you know, it'd be, it's, I think people should listen to this song. They should listen to Jackie DeShannon. Listen to Glenn Campbell while you're at it. Right. Honorary Beach Boy. Yeah, Honorary Beach Boy. Needles and Pins, which is, is interesting, of course, because it was written by Sonny Bono and Jack Nietzsche. Jack Nietzsche who, you know, of course, went on to do the Jewel of the Nile soundtrack, but... Um, and Mermaids. Yes. I think you hear, you hear this and you think, oh, that's, that's like super Beatlesque. At least, or Bird-esque at, at, at yeah. something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you realize it was done in 
November of 63, released in November right. 63. So that's pretty interesting. And you're like, oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, how'd that happen? Yeah. You know, and then, then you feel like you've been betrayed and lied to your whole life. And, you know, you start eating, you get kind of fat. Things go south. We can't compare the songs. We can't do this. We can't show anyone anything. We can put the uh, links in the description for you, if you like. A little playlist. Just to listen. Just yeah. to, you know, and, and hear, you know, a, a very influential song from the 60s that influenced the Beatles, the Birds, and, and many others. Very right. interesting. It's a great song. Well, I think I think if you if you love music, if you love the Beatles, if you love '60s music, if you love rock and roll, if you're interested in how things come about and shift and how things come to sound the way they do, this is something we are interested in as music lovers, as musicians, as fans. We are interested in music. I think other people are as well. I hope you are. This is why we do what we do. So please follow the links to the Spotify playlist. Listen to these songs. Come on back. Let us know what you think in the comments. Okay. Spotify playlist. Okay. Yeah. Come on back. Comment. Let us know what you think about Jackie DeShannon. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. Please. So you... Yeah, please. Hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload a new video. And thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.